Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are starting as Lilith apparently. Didn't mean to do that at all. <laughs> I don't know why I have a continued run there. But anyways, let's just jump in and randomize our character. See who we just might get and see if we have anyone that's a nice bit of fun. A bit of a polyon. Haven't done a polyon in a little while. I, I welcome him. I welcome him. But we're jumping in and I am in just a fantastic mood today. Okay, the game crashed. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, one moment. Okay, we're actually in now. <laughs> That's so funny. So funny. Immediately game crashes upon me starting. Estrogen up could have been a bit scary there. Oh, sadly, we got a black heart. That's not even a black heart. But and again, we got a clot. But yeah, I am in a, just a fantastic mood today. I don't know. Well, I say I don't know why. I do. Um, My mum came for a surprise visit. Well, I won't say surprise. I w she told me about it about a month ago and I forgot. So it was a surprise to me. Um, and I hadn't seen her since Christmas, so it's been a good few months. And it was pretty awesome to get to see her again. Um, got to like go out for lunch with her, go out for tea, uh, make some food together. Because me and my mum quite like cooking together. So we made some jalapeno poppers and they were just amazing. Made with fresh jalapenos and goddamn, they're just some of the best things to ever exist. <laughs> they turned out so damn well. But also, oh, dog tooth, yes. More importantly, um, I, uh, I got probably the most sleep I've ever had. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I got an unbelievable amount of sleep. Um, we did get a bark in here, right? Okay. Uh, it's likely to be, uh, to the left of that room then. Um, could be to the right actually as well, but, but yeah, uh, I, I de generally, I don't sleep very well. Um, mainly because I'm just absolutely addicted to caffeine and energy drinks. So normally I'm just not in a good way in terms of sleep. But, yesterday, my girlfriend had, um, ooh, this is a cool room. Uh, yesterday, my girlfriend had to, unfortunately, had a sort of surprise, um, sort of thing where she had to go into work at 3am, which obviously doesn't happen very often. Her work is very, very rarely like that, but basically she messed something up at work and had to end up, got down with getting good stuff going on today. I had to end up going to work at 3 a.m. And so she went to bed at 8.30 p.m., which is the earliest we've gone to bed in a long time. But I was just like, hey, I'm going to go to bed as well and just try and sleep. And I surprisingly managed to um, after having like nights where I've been going to bed at like 4 a.m. I managed to get to bed at like 9 p.m., which is like the earliest I've gone to sleep in just forever. And oh my God, it's made me feel just a thousand times better. I feel like... I feel like I'm finally... Oh, my clot. My poor clot. I feel like I'm finally rested. What is going on with these flies? They are flying in very opposing... This is really confusing. Why are they flying like that? <laughs> They're flying in very opposing directions. It's confusing the hell out of me. But yeah, uh, I just, I'm just feeling goddamn fantastic. Uh, the, the most rested I've ever been. Whoa! <laughs> That's a really, really cool... Uh, I love that. That's a really cool keeper. Uh, I'm just gonna buy another soul heart. Honestly, we are on an absolute soul heart grind right now. Uh, second secret room. Yeah, I think it's here. I don't know if it. I just want to say I don't know if it howls if you've already found the secret room or not. Unfortunately, not a secret room. I'm all that interested in. But yeah, dog tooth is so good, so so good. Right, let's go ahead and fight this guy. But yeah, as for the question of the day, this is actually one that I've been seeing a few other people uh, asking. And I know that it's uh, crass to just steal other questions of the day. But at the end of the day, they're just questions. Doesn't really matter. I think I saw it on bd one Piece channel, so there's the credit. Um, what's the weirdest dream you've ever had? I, I can't say for weirdest for me. I, I don't genuinely... I, I don't remember many of my dreams, I'll be honest. I, I dream, obviously, quite a lot, but I, I don't remember many of them. But my the the earliest dream is probably the weirdest one I've, I've ever had. Uh, like, the earliest memory of a dream that I have. When I was very young, uh, so just to get context to this, I have, a, I have a sister and she's five years younger than me. Um, and when I was like six, seven, so she would she was like one or two years old at this point, I had a dream that I, for some reason, still to this day, remember really vividly. We were on a safari, like me and my family. Um, and bear in mind, I'd never been on a safari at this point, so I'm not quite sure where that came from. But we're on a safari um, and... I, uh, like, we were, like, driving, and we were being chased by, like, a cheater or something. And 
it's, it's like, it's not that weird. It's a fairly standard dream, I'll be honest. There's nothing crazy going on there. And yeah, it was pretty standard. And it was just like kind of a safari where we've been chased by this thing. And it was, it was, I remember it being scary, but not like terrible. It wasn't, it wasn't a nightmare. Um, but then things really sort of started to take a, a turn. Ooh, 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 I've got a bit of a play here. I've got a bit of a play here. Did you hear the barking in the room from Dog's Tooth? We're going to let these little polties, there you go, pick up every rock in the room until it reveals the crawl space. And luckily, we didn't have to pick up too many of them. Uh, managed to get a crawl space for free there. It's pretty nice. Another great thing about dog tooth. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. But yes, uh, and it, it wasn't really all that weird there. Like, nothing not, nothing crazy going on. But then, ooh, Nancy. Mm, I was just about to say Nancy Bombs is maybe a, a suck, but I actually think this is a... Very annoying enemy. Uh, I actually think I'm going to take it, just because I need the bombs. A rules card there as well. Uh, I know I haven't used my uh, void yet, I realise, but whatever. Um, this is a good run. Um, yeah, it started to get weird when, in my dream, I, for some reason... Bear, bear in mind, I, I had no really ill will towards my sister at this point. I didn't... Or at least I didn't think I did. I then dreamed, bear in mind, on a safari in the middle of a, of a desert that I put her in the oven, like, as a, like, oh my god, this run is crazy, um, like, yeah, just, like, put her in an oven, and I, I don't really know why or where that came from, what caused me to dream that, but I very vividly remember it, it was, yeah, it was very strange, <laughs> okay, another one in here, very, very strange. And that's like, like, that's like the, it's not particularly too weird. It's not like crazy as dreams go. But that's like the earliest memory of a, oh, that, that was, as, as good as this run has been so far, that was pretty devastating. Um, that was like my, my earliest memory of sort of an odd dream. I don't really remember too many odd dreams though. Like, I get stress dreams every now and again. Uh, for those of you that don't know, which most people probably already do, but if you're ever being chased, or if, you're, if your teeth ever fall out in a dream, that is a stress dream. Or if you if you can't remember something and it's putting you in a bad situation, that's another stress dream. They're like the three most common stress dreams. So some people have those dreams like semi-regularly and don't realize that they're stress dreams. Should kill you, right? Oh, we got a bomb back for that, nice. Yeah, I think that's something that people don't really realise. I don't get them that often. I'm not. I'm generally not a big stressor. I, I was. We kind of been talking about this recently because um, I'll definitely suck that up. I uh, got damage out that and speed. Kind of needed that. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I think Lucky Rock's pretty good for us here. I unfortunately. Don't really think either of these are very good for us. Someone needs to make a model that buffs Blood Earth. Blood Earth is terrible. But yeah, having two of them isn't really going to do much for us. So I'm just going to bounce. Um, but yeah, uh, something... So I, I, I won't go into it very much. But a few of my family members on my dad's side died recently. Uh, including his dad. Which he didn't really care about all that much. Because he didn't like his dad. And his dad didn't like him. They didn't have a great relationship. But still, it affects you. Um, and... Um, he, he's, he's having, like, really hard time sleeping and, in general, just, like, kind of a rough time. Uh, and I was talking to my mum while she was here about, the, like, the fact that a lot of his symptoms of, of the stress and the, the grief and the way that he's dealing with it are very much not emotional. They're more physical. Like, he's not really... He, do, he doesn't seem in himself different or, like, sad, but it, it's really affecting his sleep. He's normally a pretty sound sleeper. I mean, my dad's uh, a painter and decorator that... Uh, Gets up 6 a.m., goes out to work, 9 to 5, comes back and sort of the average work day. But, and, and like, it's normally on a pretty tight schedule for sleeping, but recently he's been, like, just not getting to sleep at all. And my mum was saying about how, like, it's because, um, ooh, I think this, I think this will void. Um, oh, wait, actually, no, because that'll just take it in. I'd rather take that. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with the speed up. Um... Yeah, and Cameron was sort of talking about the way that, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very, it's a very physical sort of thing and that's I'm very much the same I don't really get stress or anxiety or worry outwardly I don't really get really emotional about things I mean sometimes I do it's not it's not like it never happens I do sometimes go through periods where I get quite emotional about whatever's happening but 
oftentimes it's uh, for me it's a very physical symptom um, and one of the sort of glaring examples of that some of the one of the times in my life where that was really apparent was during um during college um, i was going through just really stressful time in terms of obviously just trying to do well and get great get good grades and stuff um and especially during exam period and i i started having even though i didn't even know i was stressed and even now i was struggling i started to have these weird symptoms where basically i would um ooh, let's check this out first hmm, i think i'll just take these two um i started to have these weird symptoms where i was getting like extremely bad and i mean extremely bad ad abdominal pains and like stomach cramps and i couldn't figure out why i'd changed my diet i'd, I'd done all sorts of stuff and then i ended up in hospital with it and even even to this day like the doctors never found out what was wrong or what was the specific cause but they basically attributed it to they said that it's likely irritable bowel syndrome caused by stress uh but i was in like agonizing agonizing pain like just just some of the worst pain i've ever been in my life and like they had me on they had me on codeine um which is a very strong painkiller and that that was a time in my life like I'd, I'd i'd never been a person to like do drugs or anything like that and i'd i'd never smoked or anything like that and so addiction was addiction was very much a, a theoretical thing to me i'd never experienced it myself and i didn't really know how how it how it made you feel until i had that <laughs> once i had codeine to to relieve that pain i have never understood addiction more in my entire life i i was like my god i need this in my system all the time forever please <laughs> don't don't you dare take this away from me this is the best feeling ever i'm trying to open them because they could have items in them but of course, they did not work out for us. Although, we did end up getting an on-hit item from that anyways. Come on. Yes! I don't want that. I do, however, want that. And that. Estrogen up, actually. Let's pop it. Oh! Ah, oh, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a shame. There was there was very clear potential for estrogen up to have a synergy with the rotten heart there and create a rotten uh, clotty, but it just didn't work, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but yeah, like I, because of how how intense the pain was and how how oops, I did not mean to plant the bomb there, and how great the relief was from being on that codeine. It and, and it also. It didn't, the the effect of the coding didn't quite last until my next dose. Because obviously with it being a highly addictive substance, I'll, I'll scoop that up. With it being a highly addictive substance, you, you're very much, um, like, you, you, the, the doctors do not give you that much of it. They don't, they don't give you a lot and you, you can't have it that often. So you can only have it like once every, I think it was like 12 hours or 14 hours or something. But the effect only lasted about eight um, and in those like few hours where I didn't have it, I've never understood addiction more in my entire life. I was like, oh my God, pump me full of this stuff all the time, forever. I never want to not be on this stuff. Because it just not earned, like it, for, for one, it completely and utterly eliminated this agonizing pain. It was just gone, completely and utterly gone. Uh, but also it just made me feel like generally way, way better. I mean, because it's a pretty strong drug. Um, and yeah, I was just like, oh my god, I, I, I understand now. <laughs> I understand how people can get uh, addicted to things and not be able to, like, get off of them because this is... I need this. <laughs> so it is a good job, obviously, that they don't give you too much of it because you could so easily get hooked to that stuff. And I do feel bad for people that are, like, that are, like, substance dependent because that's kind of crazy, like... It's, it's it's crazy how, like, a substance like that can have such a hold over you. Like, obviously, I don't actually know, but I'm sure at least one person, upon spawning every kind of time, it's chance to be upgraded. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm sure at least one of you out there viewing is either currently or previously been addicted to some sort of substance, whether that be nicotine or anything harder. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that you can kind of relate to that. Um... It's, it's just, just crazy. It's just crazy. I never really understood until now. Uh, ooh, Keeper's Sack. Hell yes. That, that scared the life out of me then. Because I thought the mini bombs were going to scatter just far enough. 
just far enough to uh, <laughs> blow up the uh, reroll machine. I would have been so upset. I'm just trying re yeah, there we go. Reroll again to get that. I don't actually want Steam Sale, I'll be honest, because um, the more we spend on stuff, as long as we have the money to buy it, the more Keeper's uh, stack actually gives us. But yeah, that's 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 been a, a rather fine tangent from uh, what started as what's what's my weirdest dream. <laughs> These are the episodes I like, though. Like I can always. Especially when I look back on my videos, like once they're uploaded and I go and I sometimes, sometimes I'll just do like a brief quality check on my videos where I'll watch through my own, like not all the way through, but I'll watch through one of my own videos and just basically assess, was I actually entertaining or was I just speaking gibberish or talking nothing? Um, at least most of the time I usually feel like I did I did an okay job of it being somewhat entertaining. Um, but um, these are always the episodes where I can tell I was in a good mood because I, I just, the, the conversation keeps flowing. Ooh. We get some polyon cells, awesome. Uh, yeah, the conversation keeps flowing. It's very, ugh. Yeah, I, I, I gotta say, it's just, I, 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 really, I really like episodes that are like this. Did we get a dog howl in this room? No, I'm just gonna leave it then. Um, I don't even know where I was meant to be going here. Oh, just blue baby, that's cool. Yes, yeah, so, some, sometimes it's just you just kind of get into that sort of that sort of vibe where, oh hello. Ah, oh, okay. To be fair, I was just—I was gonna give—I was gonna be annoyed there, but seeing these black chests actually is a lot less annoying than uh, seeing no items. Because although there's a chance that happens, they do at least have a chance to give you an item. Or, uh, or the, or the—they just weren't. I love my mini Isaacs. They're so cute. I think one of them died already. <laughs> Calm down, boys. But yeah, it's like, although, although I do like, tend to like to speak about the game and the run that I'm playing, because I feel like one of, one of the sort of cornerstones of my channel, and it's always kind of been this way, I think it's still in my like, channel bio if you go and look, I, I want to provide um, entertaining but also informative content so people like for Enter the Gungeon Binding of Isaac I don't just want to be entertaining I also want to be teaching people how to be better at the game while I'm playing and it's why I often kind of try to keep a good mix between commentary about the game and commentary about life some episodes tilt more to one side than the other it normally just depends on the run and how it's going but yeah i try to keep it sort of a bit of a mix and you'll you'll probably notice this more after me saying this and i do i apologize if that ends up being a bad thing um shoop is unfortunately not even worth voiding but why not um secret room is in here so we'll check there uh hmm maybe Second secret room is here. Oh, he please be here. Okay, good. Oh, that's regular secret room. Ooh, we got a we got a, a a bag tissue. They're a bit awkward to make work, but I do quite like them. We'll give it a go. We need we need eight things in a room to make a bag tissue work. They're a bit yeah they're a bit finicky to make work, but if you can get them to, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, one thing I try to do quite a lot of the time is justify and explain my decision-making process. If I'm making a weird decision or I'm doing something that maybe is out of the blue or not normal, I will often, um, oftentimes try to explain why I'm doing said thing. Because I feel like a lot of the time with, with a lot of content creators, and I'm not just pointing out anyone in particular here, but just in general with YouTube, you see people play games and they do something that they might they might be a more advanced player than you are, or better at the game, or have more knowledge, and they do something and you you know that they've done it on purpose and for a reason, and it's it's usually a reason in benefit to them, but you never actually know why. And a lot of the time the explanation never really comes. Uh, ooh, I did not know these guys transformed. Oh, that's really cool. Um, they transform each other when they hit with hit, hit with the gas cloud. But yeah, um, you, you kind of don't really get any knowledge or information as to why why a certain thing was done. And, and a lot of the time, by the time you finish the video, you kind of forget about it. And so you don't end up commenting to ask what happened or, or why. Um, and I, yeah, I feel like that's a shame in some cases, especially with a game like Binding of Isaac. And especially on top of that with modded Binding of Isaac, where there's a lot of new stuff in the, in the mods and stuff that you see. Hey, you gotta pick that up. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel like 
giving giving some some sort of deeper explanation or, or reasoning to why certain things are done it helps people to sort of understand my decision making process a little more and hopefully makes it a little more entertaining because uh it's not just me going well now we've walked into this room and we've killed this enemy it's more like oh well i took this item with this build because of this oh well i went backtracked to this room to this blood donation machine to get this money to do this because of this and here you'll see an example of me doing said thing and i, I feel like it helps viewers to kind of build for one it kind of builds an association with why i personally play the way i do because i feel like i play a little i see i feel like i play a little differently than most players because i'm i just i run risks a lot more that was stupid um i feel like i run risks a lot more wait a minute I just thought maybe because there's multiple hearts in there that count as more than one pickup. They do not. I had to try it. Um, yeah, I gotta say, I feel like it, it kind of helps people understand why I do the weird plays that I do. And I, I, that's a good thing. Because I do play kind of strange. We'll take a death card. Why not? I want to go back and find my shop real quick here. Just because we've got keep a sack, I don't care what I buy. It could be an active item that I'm never going to use. I just want to have it. Why, hello there, sir. Sack room. Sack room doesn't have pennies in it. We'll at least grab them. Ooh, and it's a luck upgrade as well. We have, we've got seven luck. How the hell did that happen? I suppose we got the sorcerer on our head for the extra three luck, but that's still a lot. The sorcerer's a really good boss item. Plus three luck is kind of incredible. And then when when it's full on hit, you get your drop of poop is also not terrible either. It's a nice bonus. So yeah, we got an item here. More options is, is a pretty good item too. And I think we'll also see if we can grab the other item there. Spider mod. Oh, did I catch it? No, I didn't. I tried to use my active item to suck up spider mod there. I was a little too late on it, unfortunately. Just because I think spider mod's fine. It's nice to be able to see the, stat, uh, the, the enemy's HP. But I'd rather just have some stat increases. Because our stats, are, our stats are fine right now, mainly because our items are good, but they're not great. I am appreciative, though, that we have whipped cream, or whipping cream, should I say, which gives you bonus damage um, for your shot speed, which actually pairs really well with a polyon, because normally when you get shot speed ups from voiding an item, you're kind of like, ugh, well, that was pointless. But with this guy, you're, you're a little more uh, like, oh, shit, that's actually really useful. Oh, experience. Wait, is experience bar a boss item? While I do kind of agree the theming is pretty fitting, the 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 ratio of how good it is is way off. Experience bar is insanely good for a for a boss item. Kind of think it's funny that now we've got health bars and our own experience bar. We're just turning this into another genre of game at this point. It's kind of funny. It's definitely a death room that is, isn't it? If you ever seen one. Oh, I always get hit by those. Human's tail. Eh, I think our health is fine as it is, really. Not in this really. It is really. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. But yeah. Right. Boom. Bow. Right. It's oh. Ooh. Weird room. Oh, you bastard. I thought they'd turn off once I grabbed the soul heart for some reason. That's not how that works. I really like these rooms from, like, Rooms Galore that add in these, like, burn-based enemies to the necro floors, which... Very thematic. Oh, God. Oh, God. Another luck upgrade. This is crazy. I think Experience Bar gave us some luck as well. Ooh, we've got, uh... The double in this room. We've got... A secret room, but we've also apparently got a crawl space in this room as well. Oh, wait, what? There was a bark. Okay, dog tooth lied to me. There was a bark, it did do a barking sound, but apparently that has since disappeared. Well, yeah, you can see experience bar just pops off, it's crazy. Ooh, empty heart container as well. Very overpowered, but I'll take it. I'll definitely grab that on the way back out. Oh, I really wish I had my death card for this room specifically. This room's horrible. This is a room that I'm not a fan of. 
Oh, that was close. I almost went into that at the wrong time there. We got 10 keys, so we can easily go in here. Do you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll play you. That was unexpected. Sadly, another item that we can't, I, I, we can't actually suck up. That's something that's problematic with, uh, with Void. Why would you want to make a one-room charge item into a six-room charge item? That's just dumb. Don't make no damn sense. Wait, was there a howl in here? There is. Oh god, the mini bombs. Scare the hell out of me every time. Uh, ooh. The ghostly reserve boys, and then uh, pop one of these up. Mum's pad. What the heck? Why? A gross item to get in there. By gross, I both mean terrible and thematically quite gross. Isaac, why are you playing with that? Leave that be. Leave that well enough alone. Okay, we're, we're pretty stomping though. We're pretty much stomping. We're, 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 we're plowing through. The quarter here. While not a fantastic item, we do still have one more shop left here. And with, um, what's it called? Because I ain't no alabaster. Now, alabaster box, if you didn't know, with void, has some pretty dope synergies. Mainly the fact that you can do that, and then that. <laughs> oh, we got some trashy items here, though. Uh, I will take circular protection. Circular protection is pretty good, but I will definitely be voiding uh, that. Yeah, uh, alabaster box has some really intriguing synergies there. I'll take little Steven here. I probably shouldn't have taken either, to be honest. Um, probably should have avoided him, but I don't think we'll get, uh, get the charges. Um, yeah, uh, has some really good synergy, as you can see there, where you can just open up Alabaster Box for a battery charge, like a regular battery. You don't have to um, go out your way to get all the soul hearts. So you could just use it as awesome. Whenever you find it in the shop as this character, I'm always really, really uh, excited to find it. I don't think we're going to get enough battery uh, charges, to be honest. What time are we on here? 23 minutes. Unfortunately, we're a bit past boss rush. Give me a battery. I just want a battery. Um, let's go to my cash room just in case. Ooh, okay. I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll trade a soul heart for um, a smelter rooney here. Oh, and I'm so glad that I did. A great trinket to get there. And yeah, no, a thank you on you guys. Um, trying to think, is there any way we can get a battery charge? I don't think there is. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. It is what it is, Homebolio. Uh, we definitely want to buy this, just because it's it's money spent. We'll buy the key as well, because why not? And do you know what? Let's just take Laz Rags. At this point, why not? It's a respawn, so it's good enough. I think this mum room looks so good with this mod on. Okay. We're, we're like, I'm going to say, considering our stats aren't crazy. Like, they're good, but they're not crazy. We're doing really well. I think it's 2020 that's just... Bumping it up to the upper echelons of great. Alright, we're going blue baby here, remember, so... Take that bad boy. Go down. Things are going well. And i got plans this evening as well that I'm just excited about too. Just being all in all, a very good few days. It was very nice to see my mum for the first time in a little while. Oh my god. That's the thing when you, when you move out, you kind of you do get used to like not being around your parents, and it is nice to be independent, and be on your own. But at the same time, you do, especially like my mum, I'm quite close to my mum. You do miss them, even if you're not super close with them, you still do. Right. Anyways, but like with 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 my dad especially, like I still talk to him. I wouldn't say tons, not as much at the minute, but like 
I, I do talk to him a bit more than my mum because I play some games online with him. Like, I actually, uh, one, of, one of my most played, probably, people probably don't know this about me and probably wouldn't be able to guess, but some people would say, oh, what's your most played game of all time? Is it Gungeon? Is it, um, is it Isaac? Nope. And Isaac's actually getting close to my most played game of all time, but it's not, it's still not. My most played game of all time is Diablo 3. And it's because I, basically when I was younger and even still sometimes now, I play it quite a lot with my dad. And it's like, it's a game that I really love in general, but it's just like a great game to play together. Because like my dad, my dad was kind of the one that got me into gaming as much as I'm into it. Like he uh, got, a, got a PS1 for us. This is a good room. Um, got a PS1 for us when I was, um, I can't remember how old I was now, probably like six. Probably like six, seven, something like that. I can't remember how old I was now. But yeah, got, ooh, another cell heart. Yeah, uh, I gotta say, and ever since then, I've been the biggest of gamers. I'm something of a gamer myself. Right. This, this this run's kind of got to the point now where it's stagnated a bit, hasn't it? Nothing, I wouldn't say it's not interesting, but nothing super crazy is going on. Ooh, familiars adopt our tier effects. While, wait, 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 wait. I have to see. For one, obviously these these guys are, have adopted them, but will our, will our little babies adopt them? I've got to see. Okay, they, they apparently didn't want to fire at those guys. Right, I've got to see if my little cell babies end up adopting it too. They do! Hell yes! <laughs> they got shielded tears, that's awesome. I mean, they're going to perish very quickly, but still. That's really cool. Look at them go with the little shielded tears. Such cuties. Uh, we do have a crawl space in here somewhere. We'll try and look for it. There you go. Don't you love it when you get it on the first bomb? And we got a void. Fire rate, that's great. I love how much range you can get with this character. You get so much range. But yeah, in, ca in case you didn't know, um, this trinket that adds uh, your your tier effects to familiars, um, with with the help of Prian, in fact, with basically Prian doing all of it and just me giving him the idea, we made uh, this trinket into an inherent effect of Lilith, so all of Lilith's familiars gain this effect, where they gain heft, uh, tier effects. It's really cool. Would have liked to have sucked that up, but whatever. Ooh, I'll take I'll take both of these actually. Good stuff, good stuff. And we got oh no, I left a cell heart behind. I'm distraught. I am distraught. Nope. A room full of those bastards and it's a dead end. I'm not fighting that. You couldn't pay me to fight that room. I don't want to be bored. Hey, the doubles. Double chests. I think the uh, the sleight of hand trinket we've got is the thing that's making the, the positive sound every now and again when consumables spawn. When it's, when it's effect is activated, it lets us know, which is good. I think, not that every trinket needs this, but I think more trinkets should do that, where they have like an activated effect, or more items in general, where they have like a, a where it takes effect on something. It should give you a, a little sound notification to let you know that that effect has been triggered. Probably here, right? Nope, must be here. Oh, you bastards. This is a room I've been getting reasonably often. Bit of a weird one for a regular secret room, but there you go. I don't really need the money for anything here, but I keep taking it. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> you evil little shit. I don't have a bomb, so I can't even get across to that. I need a lot of crawl spaces. This is why I love Dogtooth. Dogtooth is an underrated as heck item. Not only is it a small damage up, I mean, it is very small. That's probably why people underrate it. But the fact that it can give you all, all the locations of the secret rooms and crawl spaces. I know that your listen can also do that, but your listen doesn't come with a damage up. It doesn't change your stats at all. It's, it's better than your listen. Damn, now I wish I had more bombs. 
Now I wish I had some more bombs. Now we can just go boop, boop, boop. Push that over there, get both of them in one go. Oh, Mum's ring. That's going to give us... Silver Samson, unfortunately, isn't really that good. Oh, yes. Let's quickly go back over this way. Right, check out what's going on in here. Haha! -ha. You don't think I could just void it across the gap, you fool. You fool, I've tricked you. Okay, boss is here. And it's Mother. We've got shielded tears, so we should be absolutely fine against her here. Obviously, she can destroy our tears, but we've just had a few tears up, and that kind of negates the negative effects of um, having shielded tears, really, having high, a high tier rate, so we're pretty good to go. I'm not going to do hush or anything here. I'm just going to be ounce, get down to the, uh, to the next floor, or go up to the next floor, should I say. Do a bit of cathedraling. Love, love, love the look of a cathedral. Very annoying enemies here. Yeah, just stop. Spider mod makes those enemies so much easier to fight as well, which is really nice. Okay. We've got permanent polar invincibility now. I didn't even think about that. Ow. I'm getting hit a lot right now. I keep forgetting circular protection doesn't quite protect you as much as I'm currently treating it like it does. And neither do shielded tears. Shielded tears are good, but they're not going to protect us from literally everything. Alright, good, good. Ooh, double keys? I guess I'll grab. Oh, is a secret room in here? Probably here, right? Okay, then. Maybe not. Run out of bombs, so we don't have to worry about secret room too much right now. Just keep plodding on. I'd be upset if I got like an R key now, because I physically do not have time to do an R key run. So I'd be a bit upset if I got it, because I, I wouldn't use it. I'd just like... I don't know what I'd do, but I wouldn't be using it. That'd be really depressing. I'm just going to not go any more secret rooms now actually thinking about it, because that would be... I'd rather not find it than find it and be depressed. Because it depressed you guys and it depressed me. Okay, I'm really getting a bit bummed out by the amount of damage I'm taking right now. Should not be taking as much as we are. That, okay, he did, he did die in the end. I got really good range. Solar Samson here is absolutely killing it. Probably like two more waves of that and we're good to go. Maybe even one more. Yeah, one more, nice one. Hopefully we can get some good stats or items from our our chests here and clutch this out. We're not in too dire of a situation. Ooh, I mean that's a good item. That's also a good item. That's also a good item. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that there were some stellar things right there. With this amount of luck, yeah. I'll give you fire in so many rings. Oh god. Oh god. I thought Lucky's horns would be triggering more though for the four way, but we got really good fire rate for this though. It's a very good setup we managed to get here. <laughs> and we're gonna get more items here as well. Mongo baby for extra tears shot in the style of our tiers. It'd be cool if they were firing tech X's, but that's not a tier modifier, that's a tier type. But with shielded tiers, this is very, very good. So we're going to be getting a lot of chests here and doubled as well. Double, double. Oh, C-section on top. Hell yeah, we'll take that too. How does C-section even work with this? Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's strong. <laughs> Laser ring C-section babies. Hell yes. I, I always find I get C-section really late into my runs. I've had it like five or six times and I've never had it like early on. It's always one of those things you get late into a run. 
Um, excuse me, Dominic. That's not... Not quite how it works. <laughs> it tried to disguise itself. I'll be honest. Didn't really work. But... Congratulations for the effort, I guess. Oh my god, the damage. The heckin' damage. God, we got so many chests early on. Now we're not getting any. This isn't even that laggy either, which is rather nice. I don't think so for either of them. One thing I'm a bit confused about is I swore that... Let's wait until this room's over. I swore that I had a um, clear tier button. I had clear tiers, clear tiers on room clear set to yes, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Like, surely when I clear this room here, all these tiers should disappear, but they're not, look. But if I press this button, they do disappear. Shocky milk? What does that do with this? Not much, apparently. Just makes our lasers a bit browner. It seems like we're going the right way here. God damn, C-section's so fun. I'm so glad they took an item that was like, didn't do anything, the most underwhelming thing for like six months of the game, uh, of the thing he's released, and then made it into just this god tier cool item. Oh, Lacrophagy's going a bit wacky with this too. More like Wacrophagy. Unfortunately, this is the wrong way as well. Common call, turn them green. Down with the vampire. Wait, what? Why'd we lose damage there? What the hell? How the vampire supposed to give us damage? Hey, we get shielded tears, little brim. With conjoint. Oh my god. Proptosis, as much as I don't think it's that good for us, I'm going to take it because it's going to be weird. And also, it potential of being crazy damage. Bag of crafting, no thank you. Right. Beautiful. Crazy end to a crazy run. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. This one was pretty awesome. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.